Welcome back, everybody. Great to have you with us this week in America online, thisweekinamerica.us. Luella Campbell is a trained nurse with a diploma in theology and ministry. As a pastoral assistant, she teaches, writes teaching materials and articles for her church magazine, daily blogs on four websites. Luella has published scripture textbooks for Christian schools in India. She's an accomplished author. Her books include Learning to Be a Son, The Way to the Father's Heart, The Heartbeat of Holiness, The Father's Eternal Desire, Designer Prayer, Learning to Pray in the New Covenant, and her newest book, the book we'll be talking about on today's program, a book Excellence Awards finalist, Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master. Luella Campbell joining us from South Africa on This Week in America. Hi, Luella. Welcome to the program. Hi, Rick. It's lovely to be with you. It's great to have you with us on the program and talking about the book, Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master. This is really an excellent book and so much to talk about on the program today. Let's start, first of all, with why did you feel this this book was so important? And then we'll get into some of the aspects of the book. But I know, uh, what was it, about 10 years ago when you really sort of relearned what it meant to be a, to be a disciple? Why did you feel this book is important? I spent uh, almost seven years going through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And as I went through the Gospels, I literally inched through them, and I began to see something that I had never seen before. As a ca- maybe more casual reader of Scripture, I s- recognized that Jesus gave one simple instruction to his disciples, and that was, follow me. And when I look at the church as it is today, and um, not just the local church to which I belonged, but also to many other churches, I see that there's been uh, quite a distance between um, what Jesus said and what the church is doing today. And one of the things I learned as I was studying the Gospels was that Jesus came to reveal the Father and to teach us how much the Father loves us. And out of that came the book, Learning to Be a Son. And then I realized that Jesus also came to show us how to be sons. He, is a, he was a rabbi, a teacher, and his disciples were his followers. And, but he was also a son. He, came, uh, he was sent by the Father as the Son of God, and he came to teach his disciples how to live like sons and not like religious people who were only uh, expected to keep rules and regulations and not to have a relationship with the Father. All of this is in the new book, Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master. Luella Campbell is the author and our guest on This Week in America. The book is available at bookventure.com in the bookstore. You'll find that at Amazon as well, as as uh, as well as the other book that Luella has written called Learning to Be a Son. We'll talk about that towards the end of the program. Let's talk a little bit about the experience and when you've had your first spiritual awakening. You talk about it is like age 15. It was a few years ago, I think it was in 2008, that you got a new understanding. A new understanding began to dawn on you as you, you read the Bible from a Hebrew language and a cultural perspective. Talk about that. There was a young minister that had a great impact on your life from the U.S., and it gave you a whole different perspective leading you to this book. Talk about how that happened. A friend of mine had been attending special meetings in East London that were led by this young preacher from America. And she invited me to uh, one of the meetings. And I was absolutely uh, astounded when I listened to this young man talking about uh, the way that the New Testament actually should be understood rather than the way that we as Westerners understand it. He spent eight years studying under a rabbi, learning um, the ways of the Hebrew people in the time of Jesus. And this awakened my interest because I realized that so much of my understanding of of the New Testament, of, of Scripture as a whole, had come from uh, a... a Greek thinking worldview 
understanding, interpretation of the Bible, and not from the actual culture and language in which it was written. And I started to research and, and to try to understand things from a different perspective. And this just gave me an idea of how important it is that as uh, people of God that we go back to the original a language, culture, and background, and understanding of who Jesus was, n- not interpreting him from a Western point of view. Yeah, and you talk about that in the book, that how Westernization impacted the biblical meaning of disi- discipleship. Talk a little bit about that and how that, that really changed the core of, of what your message is in the book. Yes, um, I came to to realize as as I was um, pursuing this whole concept that the church has become far more of an institution than what Jesus actually intended it to be. On one occasion, he took his disciples to a place called Caesarea Philippi, which was a a kind of red-light district in northern Israel. It was a place where the city of Caesarea Philippi had been built by uh, the Roman emperor and where em- uh, emperor worship had been established. At the same time, in the area was a, a huge uh, rock cliff in which uh, niches had been carved out where the various uh, Roman idol gods were placed, the main one being uh, the, the, the goat god Pan. And um, the people worshipped Pan in uh, very disgusting ways uh, involving sexual orgies with goats. And Jesus took his disciples there not to shock them, but to show them against the background of what was going on, what it meant for them to uh, preach and teach who he really was. He asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And against the background of what these men were were watching and looking at, Jesus said, on this rock, I will build my church. Not, uh, Not a literal rock, but rather in the middle of the worst that human behavior can produce. He said, I will build my church. And his church was never intended to be uh, an established institution, but rather a fellowship of people who had been transformed by his life and by his power and by his his teaching and through the Spirit to impact society and bring people back into the right relationship with God the Father. The book is Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the the Master. Luella Campbell is the author and our guest on today's This Week in America, coming to us from from South Africa. You say in the book, my deep desire is to reroute the gospel in the Jewish soil. Explain, because that, not necessarily literal, but but back to the basics. Talk about that that sentence and why that's really a key. Um, yes, you know, when you read a book, uh, I do a great deal of reading, and uh, I read, uh, read books about the American Civil War and um, books that come from other countries. And I came to realize that I cannot understand what went on in America during the Civil War unless I understand something of the, the times and the culture, the language and the background of the people. And the same applies to the Bible. We can't understand what, who Jesus was and what he taught and what he, he came to represent and what he came to do unless we understand the background, the history, the culture, the language in which he lived and in which he functioned. And I started to explore through a a lot of research on the Internet uh, something of the meaning of language, something of the culture of the people. They were uh, essentially originally nomadic people, and their language reflected not not, um, the abstract, but their everyday lives of um, the nomadic and later on the agricultural lifestyle. So just to give you an example, 
there's a scripture that says the Lord stretches out the heavens like a curtain. Now, we would rather interpret that from a scientific point of view. But they, as nomadic people, lived in tents made out of goats hair. And um, as, as they sat inside the tent, the tent would be dark. But it, there would be pinpoints of light where there were gaps in the in the weave of the tent. So they would understand that uh, the heavens look like the inside of a goat's hair tent that have pinpricks of light. So you can understand just from a simple illustration like that, that uh, these people uh, had a t totally different worldview than we have. And it's so important for us to come back to the simplicity of h how they thought and how they lived and how they expressed their, their lives in the language they used rather than coming to it from a Western point of view. Leadership to be a learning to be a disciple, the way of the master. Luella Campbell is the author and our guest on This Week in America. Go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and link on to information on Luella's books at Amazon, also at bookventure.com. Uh, talk a little bit about the process of writing the book. I get the impression this really required a lot of research, a lot of study, a lot of analysis. Uh, how long did it take you from beginning to end to, to, to put this book together? Rick, this book was a miracle. It took me uh, probably a year or two to write my first book, which was Learning to Be a Son. And then the, the idea came to me of writing a book about discipleship uh, from a Hebrew perspective so that we can understand what a rabbi was, how he functioned, how they, the, the people functioned, how they learned from childhood and so on, so that, um, so that we can uh, come in, put ourselves into the culture and the understanding of the people of his day. And the, the, I said the book was a miracle because I wrote it in a matter of six months. The um, publishing consultant that I was working with said to me, it is very, very unusual for a writer to, to publish more than one book in a year. And I had actually published two in a year because this book flowed like, uh, how can I explain? It just flowed. Everything just came together in the most amazing way. And I say, I am not the author of this book. I am the writer. The author is God himself. The Holy Spirit led me into writing this book. And I didn't sit for hours and hours and hours puzzling uh, and trying to put it together. It just absolutely flowed like a miracle. It's interesting because it does sound like you had some uh, divine inspiration as, as you were writing the book, that once it started to flow, it was, it was there. And this book will be so vital to, to so many people, learning to be a disciple, the way of the master, Luella Campbell, with us on This Week in America. Again, book uh, available at Amazon, at barnesandnoble.com, as, as well as, uh, of course, at bookventure.com. In the foreword to the book, the, uh, the the gentleman, the senior pastor writing it from your church, Ebenezer Family Church, says that uh, the book chronicles the author's desire to know God more and satisfies the questions of who it is that invites us to follow him, explaining the hows and the whys. Let's talk a, a few minutes left in the program. Some of the hows, how should we actually be disciples? What's the What's the best way to approach that? Uh, Rick, there are many, many books that have been written on discipleship, and uh, I believe this book is, is the kind of foundation upon which the other books have written. And the important thing is to have a personal relationship with Jesus. It, one cannot follow someone, and the whole point of discipleship was that the disciples were so closely connected with him that they literally lived with him day and night. And discipleship is about becoming a, a replica of the rabbi. And you can only do that when you live in a close uh, relationship with the rabbi. We, we have that opportunity because Jesus invites us to follow him. And when we make that choice, when we lay aside our own agendas and our own uh, desire to control our lives and and take on, as he said, take my yoke <coughs> uh, and learn from me. 
Only then can we learn to become true disciples because disciples are followers. Disciples are imitators. And disciples are um, so closely connected with the rabbi that the two uh, actually become one, sharing the same heart, the same mind, the same thoughts. And, and that's what it means to be a disciple. That's in I know that... It, I know that uh, as a young person, when I was growing up, to be a disciple meant to be a church member, to read my Bible, to go to church, to to pay my tithe, uh, and to uh, witness about Jesus. But yes. that's not being a disciple. A disciple is one who is following Jesus. The book is Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master. One thing you talk about, a couple minutes left in the program, you, you talk about the church being fragmented by theology and tradition instead of being united by the spirit of, of Jesus. Do we sometimes get caught up in the, the theology and maybe overcomplicate the message? Yes, I believe so, uh, Rick. You know, Jesus wasn't involved in, in theology. Um, I went to a theological college and uh, for uh, three and a half years, and I was never taught the meaning of being a disciple. I was taught a lot about a lot of philosophical stuff about God and about Jesus and the Holy Spirit and salvation and all of those things. But no one ever taught me what it means to be a disciple, and and that's what Jesus was about. Was about uh, bringing people back to the Father through uh, the life that He implants in us by His Spirit and teaching us how to walk with Him in the light of His Word. This book will and is improving the quality of life for so many people. What has this meant for you, the, realizing, taking a new look at this uh, about 10 years ago? Uh, doing the research and writing the book and then getting the book out there and, and having it impact other people. What impact has this book had on your life? I spent the morning reading my book again, and I came to the end of it with a feeling, this, this Jesus is an awesome, awesome individual, an awesome person, and he calls me to follow him. And uh, just through reading the book again, I was just so struck by this desire in my heart to know him better and to walk with him, to live with him, to to listen to him, to follow him, and to carry out his will, because uh, he's just such an amazing person. You do such an excellent job in the book, Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master, of of breaking this down for us, put it in proper perspective for us so we can share in that uh, that feeling that you have that you just described there and you get that when you when you read the book. I mentioned before you've written several other books where you take areas and you break them down where it really makes a lot of sense. It's it's actionable what you what you're talking about. What are you working on now? Do you have other books that you're working on? No, not now. I've actually retired, and um, at the moment I am uh, in the process of, uh, how can I put it, seeing what God is doing in, in actually making this book known. I am very bad at marketing. It's not my scene at all. But I did ask God to show me what to do, and he said to me, I will do it for you. And now I'm watching what he's doing, and he's doing amazing things. So in the near future, um, I have every hope that this book will be published by traditional publishers, and it will be far more uh, marketable and visible and accessible to people. Well, you've done an excellent job with this book. We mentioned the other books that Luella has written, and you'll find all of those by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. We'll have all that information there. This book, her newest, a book excellence awards finalist and well-deserved. The book is called Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master. 
Luella Campbell, that's L-U-E-L-L-A, Campbell is our guest in the program, the author of the book, Learning to Be a Disciple. Coming to us from South Africa, the book is available at Amazon. You will find it also at bookventure.com. And if you're traveling and can't remember, website this week in America.us. Information there, and you can link on and get all sorts of information on the book, Learning to Be a Disciple. Luella, thank you so much. I really enjoyed having the opportunity. It's a great message, a powerful message, an important message in your book. And uh, having you on the program to, to share it today. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you very much. Rick. The book, once again, Learning to Be a Disciple, The Way of the Master, Luella Campbell, the author, and our guest on This Week Information, available at thisweekinamerica.us. And we're back after these messages. <laughs> 